Have you ever stopped to think about where the materials come from that we use every day? The cars we drive, the pens we write with, the computers we work on, the chairs we sit on. All of these things are made largely from materials that were dug or pumped out of the ground. Non-renewable minerals and fossil fuels form the basis of most things that we use. Even many of the clothes we wear these days are made from synthetic fibres derived from oil. Fossil fuels are a non-renewable resource, meaning that one day they will run out. They also produce the greenhouse gases that cause climate change. Everyone is coming to realise that we can't carry on using oil forever. All over the world, researchers are looking for alternatives. Here at Scion, we are developing new kinds of materials and energy from one of New Zealand's largest renewable resources. Trees are living factories that provide a whole range of chemicals and materials as part of nature's cycle. Since the beginning of time, prehistoric people have used trees to help them survive. They used wood to build shelters and they burned wood for warmth. They shaped wood into tools for hunting and growing food. Wood remains an important building material. It's strong, flexible and has a lower carbon footprint than other building products. Wood is a source of fibre for making paper. People have been making and using paper for a thousand years. These days, even with the advent of computers, paper is still one of the world's largest commodities. And that's just the beginning. Let's have a look at all the other ways we can use trees. Thanks to science, we now understand the structure of wood inside and out. We can see that trees are warehouses of valuable chemicals like lignin, tannin and cellulose or sugars. These chemicals can be used to make plastics, create fuels for running cars and for all sorts of other things. All of these products and materials from trees can be used to replace fossil fuels like coal and oil. Trees that are grown in well-managed forests are one of the largest renewable resources on the planet. They remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They help to prevent erosion and protect our waterways. They also provide habitat for all kinds of life and a place for us to play. As long as a new tree is planted for every one that is cut down, trees can continue to supply our needs long into the future. Almost every part of a tree can be used to create something valuable. Anything that's left behind gets recycled by nature back into the soil to fuel the next generation of living factories.